Name's Pickles. Tommy Pickles. Private Defective. Pirate Eye. Diapy Whirr. I'm one of the good babies helping to keep the cribs and playground safe. I hope no one was out there tonight. But if they was, I hope they was coming to see me. Someone's trying to fray Madame Lil. I didn't know why someone would want to hang Madame Lil on a wall. All I knew is that they shouldn't. Some dirty brat stole the jack out of Phil's Jack in the Box. Now it's just a box. And word on the playground is that Lil did it. She sent me to ask for help. She's busy arguing with Phil over who saw a worm first. But if Madame Lil didn't do it, who did? That's what I need you to find out. Please, Mr. Defective, you're her lonely hope. If Madame Lil takes the fall for this, she'll be in time out for a long, long time. At least until she's a grown up. Can you tell me exactly how Jack went bye bye? Phil was playing with his Jack in the Box this morning. He took a worm break. And when he came back and cranked open his Jack in the Box, it was all box. No, Jack. You gotta help him and Madam Lillian. Will you take the case? Time out was no place for a girl like Madam Lillian. I had to help. I'll take the case to the missing Jack in the Box. Bless you, Mr. Defective. I don't know why she blessed me, because I didn't sneeze. But I did know one thing. This was a job for Tommy Pickles, Pirate Eye. <laughs> It's too pretty outside for the kids to be cooped up still. I think I'll take them to the park. You kids stay close. Mommy will be right over here reading. <laughs> What's wrong? Lose your mommy? Even worse, my teddy bear. Can you help me find him? I'll have Diddy home before you can say lickety spit. Lickety spit. Okay, well, a little longer than that then. <laughs> Thanks. I do more for nap time than most babies do all day. Hey, look, there's a baby turtle in the fountain. Don't worry, we'll help you get to your mommy. It must be your mommy's birthday, huh? Your mommy sure is a sound sleeper. Tommy, Slender, um... Whichever one's the bestest. I know you'd do the same thing for me. Hey, if I could swim. It must be your mommy's birthday, huh? It must be your mommy's birthday, huh? Uh-oh, we don't got to find his daddy now, do we? Everything green. You found Teddy! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Since you helped me, I'll help you. I know something about that case you've been working on, but it's gonna cost you a reptar bar. But I just found your teddy bear. What, you want me to eat him? I'm hungry. Life on the playground is tough, kid. See you later! This is where my mommy goes doggling! I'm the 
the boss around these parts. Miss Angelica's turf starts at the next park over. I can tell you everything you need to know. Pick the clues that you think were at the scene of the crime. The party horn. A chocolate chip cookie. A Mrs. Wedding Cynthia box. Click on the hat when you're done. Good job! Looks like you've got them all right. Now all that's left is figuring out who done it. And that's gonna take another Reptar bar. See you later! We hit the worm crackpot! Gotcha! Oh! oh worms are slippy! It'd be easier if they stopped moving! <laughs> getting dirty is fun, but the wormies are getting away! Uh, you can never have enough wormies. I know wormies, and you are no wormies! Oh! <laughs> Worms are slippy. I got no more pocket in my pockets. Me too! I'm all filled up! Yeah, I guess there's only one thing to do now. Eat! Who done it? Tell me which one of you did it or I'll, or I'll, I'll feed you both vegetables. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Mrs. Angelica, you toy nap Jack, didn't you? What makes you think that? The party horn, the chocolate chip cookies, and the wedding Cynthia box. Oh yeah, that stuff. But why would I want a dumb old broken baby toy? Because that doll-faced wedding Cynthia was a very lonely girl, wasn't she? She had the dress, the flowers, the party horns. You even made her a special wedding chocolate chip cookies. But the bride was missing one thing, wasn't she? The gloom. It's true! It's true! When Mommy and Daddy bought me wedding Cynthia, I thought I had everything until they read me the back of the box. Gloom sold separately. And they were all out of gloom! So you grabbed the first boy toy you could find and forced him into marrying a doll he never loved. A doll he never even knew. It's not like that. Jack loved it. He would have never had a chance with a doll like Cynthia otherwise. Do you think I'd let her marry a performer? What kind of life is that, living in a box? Cynthia deserves better. That's why I couldn't go through with it. I called the wedding off. Thank Bob. Cynthia's pretty upset, but she'll have to wait for Mr. Wright to come along. Which should be in four to six weeks, including delivery. I hope you learned a lesson today, Mrs. Angelica. You can't hurry love. You're right, Mr. Defective. But you can buy it for $19.95, plus shipping and handling. That's how much the Cynthia Dream Gloom costs. See you later. So Jack's back in his box now. I told Phil not to play with him for a little while. He needs some alone time before he's ready to go out again. And now, everybody knows it was Mrs. Angelica who took him, not Lil. Where is she anyways? Still arguing with Phil, but thank you, Mr. Defective, sir. How can I ever repay you? Um, I don't know. I don't think you ever paid me the first time, did you? Boy, look at the time. Gotta go. Thanks.
Thanks, Mr. Defective. Huh, that's strange. Susie couldn't tell time. Oh, well, that was the end of the missing Jack in the Box case. Madame Lil could show her face around the playground again, and Mrs. Cynthia ended up getting her dream guy, along with a dream house, a dream car, and a dream hair salon, too. See? There are happy endings. Not for Mrs. Angelica, though. She did a lot of time out upstairs in the big house. You know, where her mommy and daddy live. And me? Well, I did what I always do after I solve a case. I went potty and took a nappy. Being a defective's not all adventure, you know. <laughs>